Hi guys! We are... Today is April 13th. I was supposed to host a freaking show, but it got cancelled. Really upset. I'm gonna turn off my radio real quick. So, I'm gonna have a day out with RJ, so I'm gonna bring him to the park. It's so nice outside. It's like 80 degrees outside, guys. It's like, so amazing. But you know I'm out here looking like Spinoza. Hopefully, I can get like a picture today and post it on social media. But it's not guaranteed that I'm just gonna do that, but I'm gonna be driving really soon. I have obviously it's a whole brand new day and RJ's in his stroller and we are walking to the park I personally always dreamed of days like this going to the park I swear I don't know why I don't have my stick but going to the park okay I'm on a slant right now this is kind of really ch challenging okay Walking in the park with my child. I always like dreamed of this, so yeah. So we're walking to, into Club Lakes Park in, in Staten Island. It's like the bootleg version of Central Park to me. All right, so yesterday's vlog. Yesterday's vlog. What happened was I went. My aunt watched RJ. What we did. What I did was I went. Me and Rodney went out to eat at a place called Cafeteria in New York City. They have some bomb mac and cheese. So if you're ever in New York or if you live in New York, visit Cafeteria. It's really, really good. Um, and then we came home. And RJ was really good with my aunt. Like, he actually didn't give her hell. Like, he gave everybody else. Everybody else, he gave, like, hell. He screamed. He just didn't like nobody. So I'm going to say it's not, like, windy. Like, I cannot, like, take take it because i hate wind and i hate being cold but lately my iron has been popping so i'm doing good but hopefully we see some duckies rj's sleep right now so hopefully he wakes up and i can show him some nature because i love nature and hopefully i can convince him to be a nature type person so we have basketball players oh no none of these people i'm going down the hill I never knew pushing the stroller would be so challenging. Cause so guys, we have some kite flyers over here. I cannot see anything because the lighting is so strong. People playing kickball over there. If I could zoom in. I feel like the girls are winning. Of course they're winning. The girls. And if I just like... That, where the majority of all those people is at, that is the park. And it is packed. This is a female duckling. For those of people who don't know, the male duckling has green on his head. And these are geese a goose. I don't know how to pronounce it. But they're something of the duckling species. And they come to the surface over here because they want you to feed them. And too bad I don't have any crackers or anything. I'm the type to literally forget, like completely forget. And then you see that highlight? See that natural glow? Yeah, man. But I'm the type to completely forget. Plus, I have so much projects I'm doing right now, guys, y'all don't understand. Um, I would tell y'all what I have in the works, but I don't want to speak on it and or jeopardize it. Or I just want to keep it where it's positive right now. And, you know, very secretive. So I do want to jump into my birth story and let you guys know what happened. Because... If I don't do it now, they're gonna do it. So, so my mind might as well do it. All right. So, RJ is two months now. He just turned two months, and the day that he got induced, we went to my our doctor's appointment, and basically the last time we went to our doctor's appointment, which was like a week ago, um, he was four pounds and eleven ounces. So he wasn't really growing, but I gained weight. So basically we went, we went to the sonogram and he was, 
I didn't know that he actually was 5 pounds and 12 ounces, but the way that the doctor made it seem was like basically he was not longer, no longer growing in my stomach. So it was best to give, you know, birth. I was only 5 days away from my due date because it was born February 9th. And they was just like, you know, it's better to... It's better to have him and then feed him outside the womb and let him grow than to have him in your stomach for five more days and God forbid it can actually cause complications and then God forbid he's just not gonna grow anymore. So it's like my stomach can only stretch but so much. So um I started crying hysterically. I felt like I was such a bad person because I felt like my child wasn't growing um inside me and you know Rodney you know being a very supportive person he was he was like it's not your fault it's just the fact he can't grow no more in your stomach because your stomach's not trusting you anymore and you know you just can't you just needs to come out he's ready to come out so i called my mother they're gonna induce me crying my sister crying everybody just like crying 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 and then this is both i didn't i had i had i did not vlog any of this and that was because it was a very personal moment for me um and I don't know it's like I'm semi-private but I want to be a vlogger but I'm like still semi-private so it's kind of weird I was crying I was really upset so we get to the hospital I'm like I gotta get induced but I was really trying to prevent it because I really didn't want to go get in, uh, induced I had my whole day planned out I was supposed to go to Cat's Deli get me like this bomb pastrami sandwich I was supposed to do so freaking much and I did it because I had to be induced so um yeah, so we got to the hospital around 12. Um, next video, you know, the guy, the the doctor, that's the worst thing is when they try to check how dilated you are. It's like the worst thing. But, you know, put his two fingers, said, hey, you're two centimeters down. I'm like, what? Mind you, just the day before, I was running up and down the stairs, using my exercise ball. Like, RJ, you have to get out. Your bitch notice is here. Then when it actually happened, I started having a panic attack. Like, what the? So, um, what happened? So we got in, you know, got undressed. We got into the waiting, the, the room. And then that's when you see me actually finally recording the first of our day. Um, at the beginning, I was so anti-epidural. I did not want no epidural whatsoever. The whole, my whole nine months, I kept saying, listen, just uh, listen if I say I want epidural let me do it do not say the word epidural do not want the word epidural said in my delivery room period so um they started giving me a pitocin so I could dilate a little bit faster and as you can see the contractions wasn't so intense um and as when I say as you can see go to my recent video my birth video and you'll see me basically passing through a contraction but it wasn't as um intense so what happened was with the cameras off um my pato I, um they they actually broke my water so that is very scary breaking the water because it's like a little hook and then somebody's fingers it's, it's graphic but it's a lot of pressure especially with a baby inside you trying to come out and enter the world it was very painful but once she broke my water my contraction started immediately and it was very very intense I was able to handle it, but what happened was I was so tense. Like, the way I handle pain, I just tense up. And I just take it like that. But it was bothering him because the way I was positioned, I was, like, I was, I was sitting up, like, holding on to the, um, I was sitting up holding on to the, the hospital bed. And his heart rate was dropping. But I don't think it was because I was tense. I believe it was because the monitor that they put on your stomach was not where he was it was like move so to them it was oh his heart rate is dropping you know it's something you have you have to relax basically but the thing was they did not let me get up and like walk around and like take the pain how I want to take the pain they wanted me to stay in the bed and keep the monitor on to check his heart rate because I guess at the time of me being so tense my blood pressure went up and everything so they didn't want me to move as much which actually upsetting me because I wanted to be very strong and have a natural birth with no complications. Um, a lady came in. She was like, you know, I have my, you know, I have my kid and I have epidural. Basically, the epidural is just taking away your contractions. You're still gonna have a natural birth. The time I was so intense, I was so mad. I, Rodney and my mother like came up to like soothe me, and I was like, give me a minute. Like, I probably liked the exercise at the time, but I was just so like just so tensed up. So prior to that, um, just prior to that, I agreed to take the epidural and I actually felt like a failure because I didn't want epidural. I wanted to have my, my baby naturally 
I didn't want nothing in my back to be hurt because I heard so much negative things about epidural. It's gonna hurt your back. You know, you're gonna have back pains. Um, and just like so much negative things. And I didn't want that. Like, I didn't want no epidural. I wanted it to be natural. Like completely, completely natural. Um, but it didn't work out that way. All because of my son's heart rate and it wasn't about me. It was about the health, making sure I deliver a very healthy baby. So anybody who's watching this and God forbid, you know, you're in labor and the contractions are too much, but you want to be natural and you take the epidural, do not feel like a failure because at the end of the day, you still gave birth to a beautiful, healthy baby girl or baby boy. And that's the same with moms who have cesareans. Do not get upset or sad or defeated because you didn't have the natural birth that you pictured. I literally learned labor does not go your way. Even though you can make it go your way, but if your body cannot take something or your body's not allowed, listen to your body. Don't try to like talk yourself into being something or wanting something if your body's not allowed to produce what you want. And, and, and it's the same thing. My I was thought I was able to take the pain, and I was able to take the pain. But my son, but according to my son's health, I was not able to take the pain. But I know for my my next child, what I can do. And how I could go about my next, you know, pregnancy to the point how I want it. But it was really just about my son and I'm not going to be selfish. So that's how I ended up taking up the girl. Um, and I was only in labor for seven hours. I went in from 12. He was born at 12.41. I was in labor for seven straight hours. Um, and yeah, it was beautiful. He came out. When he came out, I burst out in tears. It was the best experience I've ever experienced in my entire being of life. If I can give birth to RJ all over again, I would the same exact way because at the end of the day, he's very healthy and that's all that mattered. Um, will I do epidural, like if I was to have to give, like redo my birth? I would, uh, cause I actually, I would not do epidural because I went up to four centimeters with no epidural. I was already two, so I went up to basically two more centimeters with epidural. And they already took the pertussis away from me, so I was actually dilating slowly. And when I got the epidural, that shit burns. It's not a soothing. It doesn't work immediately. It burns, like really burns. When I was actually getting my epidural, the nurse I had, I literally was scratching her back. I had my legs wrapped around her because it was the contraction and then a big needle going to the, in your back. And then when he puts the liquid in, it burns your back. Listen, it's worth it though because 30 minutes later I was able to not feel anything. I, I didn't, it wasn't bad because I was still moving my legs. Like I made sure I was still moving my legs. I just couldn't feel the contraction. So I made sure my body was not numb because I did not want that. I just wanted a very light dosage just to take away the contractions because I didn't want that no more. And plus because of the how tense, I needed to just relax. So after the epidural, I was able to relax. Um, I was still moving, able to move my legs. Before you know it, he was ready to push. Um, Rodney actually went to get my hospital bag. And what happened was, <laughs> he went to go get my hospital bag. And then the doctor came to check to see how far RJ was. So she's like, can you push for me? So I did a push. He was like, she's right there. You ready? He's ready to be born. So I said, wait, his father's not here. Can we at least wait? She's like, you can wait as long as you want, but he's ready to come out. So I caught Rodney like, he's right there. I can feel his head, like, just being, like, overdramatic. But RJ was right there. Like, I could feel his head being right there. So I'm like, you have to hurry up. He wasn't even, like, halfway to go get the bag. Ran back, rushed back. I'm like, I was like, call like, hurry, let's go. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. And he came, and as soon as they saw, like, Rodney enter the room, you see a doctor rushing. They fucking flipped the, they flipped the, the whole room from, like, a regular just checkup room to a whole, like, surgical room. I'm like, what's going on? I had the doctor, like, staring at me. The whole time I'm, like, joking, like, dang, y'all, like, you know, I didn't get the chain down there. I'm, like, apologize if I poop because I heard girls poop. And they were just laughing at me the whole time because I literally took my, my birth, like, in stride. But... Um, if I was to do it again, I don't think I, I would stay at home until my water breaks because I do not like the feeling of somebody breaking my water. It hurts really, really bad. Wait till my water break because somebody breaking your water is really uncomfortable and really painful and you would not want that. And I would just wait for my son to like basically be at the crowning part, have, you know, somebody massage my back. Just basically be in a relaxed zone. I guess because I wasn't home and I wasn't comfortable, which is why I was tense. Um, so my next practicing, I would definitely have my child at home and make sure that I do have, I was looking for, um, 
a midwife the, my whole pregnancy and I could not find one and I was also looking for a hospital that supports natural birth but the one I found was all the way in Manhattan and then there was complications because my family's in Staten Island and how would they get there when you get birth blah, blah, blah. but this next pregnancy I would make sure that my demands are set um, and I would make sure that everything that I want and I say out my mouth and I put forth would actually um, happen yeah so that's the end of my birth video and I hope that you love the birth video mixed vloggy vlog because you know I just killed two birds with one stone but I'm about to continue my walk with my son and enjoy it because it is a beautiful day outside and I don't want to be working while I have him I do want to spend some time um visit the, the the latest video that I just posted of RJ's first video shoot I think there's a snippet of his face so you guys can actually see what he looks like um even though I'm being a little selfish to six months and the reason why that is I just want to you know take partake in my child I don't want social media it's a red robin right there I was trying to get it now it's right there but I just want to be selfish with myself like I want to take him in I want to spend so much time create memories with just me and him with no social media distractions of me having to post him or me sitting on social media looking who likes the picture and why he don't have so much like like I just want all my focus to just be on him and work so that's why I haven't posted him guys and I hope that you respect it and you understand and don't think I'm being selfish or acting funny I just personally want to take this time and to just you know embrace motherhood love motherhood and just take it in stride because I'm never going to be able to relive these moments again with him being young. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to rush into sharing him. I just want to be selfish, you know. And it's only six months, people. From six months up until y'all going to be able to I'll be sharing him with y'all. So I'm about to be out, please. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Um, like, comment, and share. Love yous. Love yous. Bye-bye.